Okay, we're back. Let's play Stranger's Wrath part... I have no clue what part this is. Uh, 10? 11? 8, 7, 8, 9, 9? I don't know! I have no idea! Anyway, we're halfway to Packrat Palooka. And these guys want to blow up in our face. And we can't let them do that, Dave. So, okay. There's another mortar, dude. I hate those guys. Hate is such a strong word. They're fun enemies. Well, they're not fun. They're cheap. But, I mean, they're not that bad. They're not, like, something lame from a game that I haven't played. What the hell? Hi. I do like that. These guys aren't supposed to be intelligent. You've seen them blow themselves up in previous videos. You've seen them throw themselves off ledges. Even in cutscenes, they do that kind of stuff. So when they walk right past you without noticing you, it doesn't really seem out of place, because they're supposed to be that dumb. As supposed to say something like, in Metal Gear Solid. Not to bash that game. It's an awesome game. I mean, the first one is... It's the only one I really played seriously. I did not like Metal Gear Solid 2. But enough of that! I'm not gonna talk about MGS2. I only played it once anyway. I bet I would like it a lot more if I gave it more time. But I don't, I don't own the game. I had to borrow it from someone, so I guess I kind of rushed through it. But anyway... Those games... Huh? Hey, what the... Oh! Hey, they saw me. They... They... Triggered... I triggered something that made me... Made me see me. I can't speak. Uh... I was saying something. Oh yeah, MGS. They're supposed to be intelligent human beings. And sometimes they do stupid things just like these guys do, and that sort of seems out of place when that happens. So it's good that someone took the precaution of figuring, hey, let's make the enemies act stupid in general. Let's have them be intentionally stupid. So when the AI messes up, it doesn't seem out of place. I bet that wasn't the intent. I bet they want them stupid because it's funnier that way, and you, you enjoy shooting them more that way. I, I don't mind having enemies that, that I can respect, but there's something about enemies that you really don't like. Aww. It makes it a lot easier to kill them and blow up them. I can them and bag them, and I'm having hic hiccups here. That's not good. Okay, stop that. Stop it! Oh boy. Maybe I was just nervous. It's time for the boss. computer all hooked up to the generators. All right. Now let's see if that computer can turn on my generators and power my shield. Not so fast, Palooka. Dead or alive, your ass is coming with me. Oh, let's see you get to me now, you pansy! He has a force field. I need to shut down them generators if I'm a Shut down that shield of his. So we can shut down him. This boss fight is actually pretty hard if you don't know what you're doing. I barely know what I'm doing. I'm gonna try the thing I tried last time and that worked out alright. Actually, I'm gonna shoot some of those. You can't even see them. There's a few pixels flying about over there. They're boom bats and I'm gonna need more of them later. So I shoot some of them down so I can run over and pick them up. What you do is, of course. Shoot all those force switches. This force field turns off. And you can, while it recharges, you can. Uh, I hit the mic again. Sorry, if you could hear that. I just hammer him while he can, and avoid his super slow homing missiles. That's really cheap. Homing missiles, really. Up, oh, and there's the force field again. Now he's gonna bring out some henchmen. And the turret. I really don't like that turret. Let's take it out. There we go. Didn't have a lot of health, but oh god, that hurt. And all this time I'm on the clock, because I can't let... Even though you see how slowly his stamina regenerates, it's like... There we go. I guess they're not too bad. Sting bees. Yeah, his stamina may be taken up slowly, but... Every pixel you let recharge is one pixel closer to capturing him dead instead of alive. 
And I want to try to capture all of these guys alive if I can. Okay, back to the boom bats. I only have two left, so... I'm gonna try not to miss them a lot. Yes, I managed to push them down. Sometimes that happens, I'm not sure why. I can let you get in a few couple... A couple few extra couple hits until he runs back into his hidey hole. Shoots more missiles. 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 Let's make sure I'm full on these, because I'm going to need those too. And here they introduce a new enemy type, I think. Or maybe not. Man, I haven't done anything to him yet. At this point, last time I played, I'm going to stop saying that soon, I promise. Actually, I am, because I didn't play. I'm almost up to where I, where I played on my practice run before I got the headset, so I can start out being for real. I'm almost up to that point. I just started playing in the, the city after this one. The next town, that is. Aw, oh, don't blow up now. But yeah, I, I, I think I might have to take this guy dead. His health is so low. But last time, uh, I was trying to say... Last time, I only had to take down the shield generators twice before I actually managed to kill him. Thought it sounded like a new turret, but no. Yeah, I'm doing really poorly right now. If he, he calls out a couple of enemies, a couple of these weak-ass rifle guys, each time you bring down the generator. Or ra rather, each time the generator goes back up. Let's see if we get more. And, uh... Yeah. Uh, once he reaches a certain point in health or stamina, he's gonna call out a new enemy type that we haven't seen yet. Yeah, introducing new enemies during the boss fight. How nice is that of them? My thought slugs do work pretty good against him. Maybe I'll manage to take him alive. But my point is... I reached the point where he does that, take up a new enemy type. Uh, after he just br brought up these enemies once. So... Oh, crap, 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 there he is! There's that new enemy type for you, Flamethrower! I didn't expect him to show up now. They're not that dangerous, but... They have a lot of health for being... For being enemies that aren't melee focused. Oh crap. I'm doing so terrible right now. I guess this, uh, this might be exciting to watch. Maybe? Maybe it's good TV? I don't know. Now we got another turret over there to worry about, because it's firing missiles at us. At me. You can't judge me, viewer. Oh. Man, I need more thud slugs too. I'm doing so poorly right now. I'm taking like... I mean, I've been going for like three times longer than it took me to beat this boss last time. And I haven't even whittled down his... See, his stamina's back up to full. I'm just running around being a jackass because I need to take out that turret over there. Sting these. Nice. There we go, that's pretty good. Ow, those missiles hurt so much. Whew. So much for showing off. I think I saved before I got to this guy. I think I might actually... After I beat this, I might... I might make a new save. Go back and beat this guy properly and upload that as a bonus video or something to show you how it can be done. Maybe do it without commentary so I don't mess up by talking. Maybe that's what's throwing me off. Focusing too much on talking and not enough on playing the game. That would be a good excuse if my commentary was actually interesting, which it's not, so... It's a really bad excuse. Did someone just say, there you are? I don't like that. Now he's getting personal. If I can make, keep, do, keep this up... If I can, yeah, if I can keep this up, I'm gonna get him alive. But I think I might run out of thud slugs before his health runs out. So, so uh, the problem is he's still gonna. Oh, I killed him. Never mind. Never mind. Ain't such a bad thing. Now, best get back to town. Cash.
in the bounty. Give back that clacker computer thingy. Yeah, back to town. I'm gonna I'm gonna quit this video here. I'll take a minute off, and then I think I might record re-record myself playing that guy, and I might upload that. So I'll see you next time on Stranger's Wrath. Bye.